interesting. Well, you motivated me to say the thought entered my mind as you were talking about that when uh, thinking about a memory for 2024. Mm -hmm. I will say that this is the thought that entered my mind as you were speaking. Yeah, Something good will happen in 2024 for Iranians. I think so too. Um, I don't, and by good I mean that it will uh, lead to uh, more tranquility and uh, peacefulness yep. for for the people in that society. I'm not going to say anything more than that. Yeah. But that's what I would mean by good. That's what I would hope for. So yeah. That's that just entered my mind, and I think one of the things uh, that Julie and I often talk about is that. We all have this experience of a thought entering our mind, and we rarely do. If anybody asks, well, how did it get there, or why did it get it there? It just shows up. It just shows up. And I think yeah. one of the things Julia strongly believes is that, and I've learned to agree with her, that when a thought enters your mind, pay attention to it. <laughs> you know, yeah. it's, it's, it's not, a, you know, a hobo or a lollygagger. It's, it's just decided to come in there for a reason. Well, and so that, what what showed up in my mind after that, yeah. also not on my list, Good. is in 2023, I interviewed my father. I did, I'm did. i doing this series of interviews with friends mm -hmm. and family just to understand them better, find out what brings mm -hmm. them hope. And I interviewed my father, and he started talking about physics and how he gets ideas in physics, because he's a physicist and he loves physics. And he says, well, the, my, my biggest pieces of creativity are just things that showed up. They just came to me, and I'm in the shower, or I'm, you know, all the stories that scientists tell. He tells the same stories. I'm in the shower, or I'm pooping, or whatever it is. I'm doing something that's not related to sitting mm -hmm. there and going, "Oh, I have to figure this out." Yes. And it gets put in your mind, and then, and of course, I I let him know that this is something that you know, sort of people who study insight know and creativity. Yes. They, we know that this happens. But then he went on to say, I asked him, so what is your passion? What, is, what does this have to do with your passion? And he said, well, I wouldn't call physics my passion. I wouldn't call discovery my passion. He said, what would give me the most joy? And this is where I was most touched by this conversation. He said, what would give me most joy is if I could help someone younger avoid years of pain yeah, I, if, heard, I remember who, when he said that. Yes. Yeah, who's dealing with obsessive compulsive yeah, disorder, which right. is his big bugaboo. And uh, he broke down crying, and I thought that was one of my favorite moments mm. of 2023, and personally, because he's putting um, sort of the healing of the human mind ahead of physics. 